I took my feelings out, I put my mind in it Just keep on hustling, I see you try and get it You couldn't rush greatness, I took my time with it All these niggas try and smoke, all my niggas try and deal it Fuck a horoscope, dollar sign, the only sign I got that work, I put in work, we call that overtime You keep on telling us you solid, but we know you lying You can't hang with the gang, boy, you know you tried I took my feelings out, I put my mind in it just keep on hustling, I see you try and get it. Hi guys. Welcome the fuck back to my channel, niggas. <laughs> if you're new to my channel, go ahead and tap that subscribe button one time for the one time so you can join my family. Also, while you're down there, go ahead and tap that notification bell one time for the one time so you can be notified every single time a lit ass bitch is like the time I hear her. And since you're gonna be down there clicking shit anyway, you might as well go ahead and just thumbs up my motherfucking video, man. Just like my motherfucking video. <laughs> so, I hope you guys are feeling okay this fine Sunday night. I, um, oh, fucking iPad. I keep forgetting the fucking iPad. How do I keep forgetting the fucking iPad? All right, y'all. I'm coming to y'all at 8.39 on the 21st day. I cannot believe that it, it has been 21 days. I know I keep saying that with every video that I post, but it's true. Like I, The further along I get into it, I'm just like, I can't believe that I'm still going. I can't believe this is still happening. I can't believe that I'm committing and sticking to it. I'm so proud of myself. Anyways, <laughs> I'm trying to figure out something to do with my hair. I'm going to wash and retwist it next weekend. Um, but it's driving me crazy because it's just so motherfucking dry. And it's like everything I use, nothing helps with the fucking dryness. Nothing fucking helps, bro. That shit is aggravating. So, not going to lie, today's been kind of rough. Um, I'm cramping like hell. I've been nauseous all day. Um, I came home after work and low-key kind of passed out on the couch. And then um, I got up not too long ago and I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to eat. But that's a whole other story, y'all. That's a whole other video, bitch. <laughs> that is a whole other video. But um, I wanted to come on here and talk to you guys for a second because, hey, I feel like I've been neglecting y'all. I feel like I have just been so freaking busy these past couple of days that I haven't been able to, like, come on here and talk to y'all how I want to. Um, and I know it's just a part of what's happening in my life right now. Like, I'm really trying to get a lot of stuff set in place for my birthday. On top of that, you already know my work schedule is hectic as hell by itself. And on top of that, I got to get Axel ready to take him back to his dad at the end of the week. And so I'm in here washing his toys, washing his bedding, like trying to get everything together. My dogs um, just got groomed, but they still need to be bathed. And it's just like a lot going on. So I just appreciate you guys hanging in here with me for the last couple of days. I know my videos probably haven't been that interesting, but you guys keep coming back and fucking with me. And I just, <sighs> motherfucking love you niggas. <laughs> so I wanted to come on here and talk to you guys today because this happens to me every freaking year. Every year, the closer I get to my birthday, the more anxious I get about like goals that I haven't accomplished yet. And I know we've had this conversation before. You know, I tell you guys like all the time how I feel like, you know, for me to be almost in my 30s, I feel like I haven't hit the milestones that, you know, people that are turning 30, you know, be hitting typically. And, you know, it makes me feel some type of way, but it just gets really inflamed the closer I get to my birthday. And I mean, it's not a bad thing. It's definitely just making me think like, okay, bitch, <laughs> like what we doing <laughs> type shit. So, you know, I'm, I'm trying to calm my thoughts down surrounding my birthday, but you know, it's just not happening. <laughs> a bitch be anxious. <laughs> But I'm just kind of thinking, you know, as I'm coming into my last week of being 28, which is crazy to say, I'm just kind of thinking about like, Axel in these floors. <laughs> I'm just kind of thinking about like, you know, where I want to be this time next year, the type of goals that I want to, you know, set for myself. Um, through the rest of the year and through next year, I'm just thinking about like, where I want to be, what I want to be doing, you know, what I want my life to look like in a year. And I know that I want to be happy. <laughs> I know I want to be um, more financially secure, 
more financially, um, I want to have more of a disposable income. I think that's what I'm trying to say. I want to have more of a disposable income. I want um, to move closer to the city. That's a goal of mine. I want to do so many things in my 29th year. And I think it's just making me anxious to think about it because I feel like everything I want to do is so big. Well, really it's not. It's just about, you know, getting up and going to do it, you know, or getting up and going to get whatever you want. But um, that's just where my head is right now. And then also I'm just really super emotional. I'm just thinking about like how I want my birthday to look to like our Axel, you okay? He just keeps sliding across the floor. Also, as my birthday gets closer and closer, I just can't help but to fall back into thinking about family and the family that I don't have. <laughs> and thinking about, you know, the family that I do have, my chosen family, my chosen tribe. And um, I don't know, I just, it's too much, bitch. It's just too much. I think I honestly, I'm just getting so emotional because a, I'm cramping, I'm on my period, I'm already emotional as hell. And two, it's just like, you know, it's another year, it's another milestone, it's another, um, I don't know, I don't know. I think I'm putting too much stress on myself, I think I'm putting too much pressure on myself. I think that I'm supposed to have all these things done and accomplished by now. And when I think about how much I don't have done in my life that I would like to have done in my life, it makes me sad. So instead of doing that, instead of allowing myself to get into that place of sadness, I'm just gonna focus on the things that I do have. I have a beautiful home, I have beautiful dogs, I have a beautiful life, I have beautiful friends. Um, I'm thankful for both my jobs. I'm thankful for my car. I'm thankful for, you know, so many things. I'm thankful for being able to put food on my table. I'm thankful be I'm thankful for being able to keep the lights on in my house. I'm thankful for so many things. So I'm choosing in this moment not to focus on the things that I feel like I don't have and things that I feel like I'm falling short on coming into my 29th year. But you know, 29 is gonna be magical. I really do feel like shit is gonna pop for me. And I said that about 28 and I was motherfucking right. This year have been so fucking transformative for me, bro. It's like 28 really showed me what the fuck I'm about. And like boundaries that I'm willing to set for myself, saying no and meaning it and not explaining myself. You know, I'm proud of everything that I accomplished in 28 um, and 27. I feel like I got a lot of stuff done. 27 was my bloom year. 27 was the year that I just like really popped the fuck out and stepped into my own. And 28 um, was full of struggle, you know, it was full of struggle, full of a lot of internal struggle. Um, and I feel like I'm going to carry some of that into my 20, oh, well, I feel like I'm going to carry that into my 29th year, but that's only because I'm still processing things and I'm still healing from things. And I know that'll all get better with time, but like, I'm just super proud of my 28th year. And I think that's what I'm choosing to focus on right now in this moment, instead of thinking about how much 29 freaks me the fuck out. <laughs> but It'll all be good. Um, uh, like I said, I'm still finalizing things for my birthday. I'm still figuring out, you know, exactly what I want to be doing, um, you know, for the weekend of my birthday because my birthday falls in the middle of the week. But as we get closer, we'll figure it the fuck out. I appreciate you guys for stopping by and listening to me ramble about my anxieties. Um, I actually am about to go ahead and take the dogs outside because Axel is losing his shit. He's like, bitch, you're taking too fucking long. And I just don't have time for him to go to the bathroom in my house. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for stopping by and checking out this video. I love you guys so freaking much. Day 21, we end this motherfucking thing. I did not get any of the things that I said I was going to get done, like, outside of the house this weekend. I did not do that shit. But tomorrow, I have plans to get up early. So hopefully, when my alarm goes off, I pop up like a motherfucking Pop-Tart, bitch. We're going to see. Um, my plan is to get a lot of shit done tomorrow. I feel like Monday is a good day for me to hit the ground running on things I need to do. But anyways, don't run in my mouth. I will see you guys tomorrow <laughs> for day 22. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and checking in with me. I love you niggas so motherfucking much. And um, drop it in the comments below. Do you get anxiety around your birthday? Does your birthday make you feel stressed? Or are you just happy in rainbows and butterflies and bunny rabbits? I mean, let a bitch know. <laughs> I love you guys, man. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for day 20 motherfucking two. Me. <laughs> <laughs>
run it up, I ain't take my time with it. They can't hang with the gang, them niggas jaw timid. While y'all was sleeping, I was up trying to get it. I'm off the deep end, I'm depending on millions. Take care of the fam, had to take that chance, it was easy. Can't put my heart into something that I know won't leave.